so last video we see how to design uh, the custom text field in this video we will see how to design a custom QML button so where we can use uh, as a icon as a image and as also the text and also the unicode character uh, as a icon so we will see how to design a circular button rectangle button and different different shapes we can uh, design that button we can use uh, customly so let's get started so what we need to do here i'm just commenting out uh, this section and adding uh, one more file here so which is uh, called the button custom button so let's add one more file in creating file uh, the name is the custom button okay so i added the custom button file here so what we need to do first of all first of all we need to import some control here so i added this uh, control as a, and also import some layout here so i'm using the layout okay so control and also added some our app style library for using the colors okay and uh, one of the property uh, we need to also import the graphics qt graphics uh, effect because we i'm adding here some opacity uh, and animation for clicking on that button so it looks great and we use different different styles on that okay so what we need to do here i'm using the button like a existing button and i'm providing the name as a control of that button okay so the control so control what do we need to do here uh, we need to provide some like uh, the button all already contain the background so first we uh, like adding the background then after that we use animation on that and also change the content we need to add image or anything else so after that we can use so i'm just uh, adding uh, the background first of all because the background uh, we need to customize first of all so let's add a background here and uh, background we need to provide the height and width so similarly we can provide uh, like previously we provided on the background in the text field implicit width and implicit height so control dot implicit uh, uh, height okay so implicit uh, width also we provide control dot implicit width so implicit we provided the width and uh, this one also uh, take care about the radius so we create here the property because we use different different radius and different different icon buttons so here i'm using the radius is the real and uh, radius similar provide a radius the value is uh, like initially is 4 ok so I am providing the radius is uh, the radius like uh, control dot radius ok so control dot radius and uh, we need to provide uh, the background color uh, which is call it the button color initially so what I am making here that property here for uh, like applying the color of background here so i'm using the property and uh, call it the color or uh, yeah i'm made in the background background color okay so i added the background color and initially here i'm um, applying the color is uh, let's check here the primary color okay not the success color so i'm adding the success color here okay so this is the success color here i am adding and now i applying the color is control dot color okay control dot color background color sorry background color so i added this uh, background color okay so i also apply some border dot width and border dot color okay so let's add it border dot width border dot width and uh, like uh, border dot width initially i added zero and border dot color um, border dot color we add here uh, the transparent default uh, and after that we use if we required here 
okay so here i'm needing one property uh, property like uh, real uh, age border width border width okay so border width i apply as zero and uh, second property i made here the border dot color is type is color and i'm meeting here the border uh, color okay so border color border color should uh, initially the transparent okay so i added the transparent now this property we assign here control dot uh, this one border color and control dot border width control dot border width okay so i made it the changes and now i'm meeting the visual is false okay so i'm meeting this visual is false because we are applying the opacity mask on that okay so this is uh what we need to do i'm adding the some of the behavioral animation or color animation on here so i'm adding the behavior behavior sorry behavior on color small behavior on color and i'm adding the color animation okay color animation so inside the color animation duration is 200 millisecond and the aging type is so aging type aging dot uh, type so aging dot uh, linear okay so i made it the linear that's all uh, color animation inside with color animation i'm also adding the indicator indicator which is like uh, it uh, create the circular animation where i am clicking on that okay so i'm adding the small rectangle inside this and uh, the id is indicator okay so id is indicator and the property two property i made here first one is integer type okay and the type is mx okay so i am not assigning any value here and second value m by because it uh, like create uh, where we need we are clicking on that so in where you click that time it will show uh, the little bit act, uh, animation will show in and I run this so mx minus width divided by 2 okay and by also the m by minus k height height divided by 2 and the height is so is the height is the width okay width and the width is we are not applying the width here so i'm applying the sum of the radius because we added the circular so control dot radius control dot radius okay so radius control dot radius i added and color color we use beauty dot lighter color lit lighter and which is i provide here some of the color uh, which is uh, like epistyle color okay so epistyle means uh, the uh, which i say the epistyle dot epistyle color okay so i added this epistyle color here okay so this one i created here so indicator now what we need to add here the rectangle we need to provide here the rectangle which is called the mask okay so i created one create one rectangle and in rectangle name is mask because we the visibility we added the false so we need to add mask so that will show that exactly the parent we are adding here so control dot radius control dot radius we apply here the anchor dot fill parent okay so anchor dot fill parent and visible also we made this false okay so now is next task to apply the opacity mask here 
so now i'm adding the opacity mask and in opacity mask i fill the background and the dot fill the background okay so g r o e n d background i filled the background and source also we made it the background okay so source also i made it the background and mask source is mask okay so i provided this mask source we add this mask and we opacity mask fill the background and source also the background okay now it's time to add the mouse area we got uh, all what we need to do and click on that uh, button and we'll see the effect so let's uh, mouse area here i'm adding mouse area like added the mouse area so mouse area let's make the id is small later and what we need to do over enable first of all because if we uh, like move the cursor to the button that will uh, change the color if we need an accept color accepted button sorry qt dot no button okay i'm not behaving any of the button this uh, and cursor cursor shape should be qt dot positioning hand cursor okay positioning positioning sorry pointing cursor okay pointing cursor and i'm playing this uh, parent as well. so i'm play this parent now let's to apply some parallel animation here parallel animation and parallel animation i d we get the main and here i'm applying the number animation number animation okay so i added some number animation here uh, which is we adding the two number animations first one and second one with different different properties on so target i'm here using the so target i'm using the indicator okay indicator a second target also i'm adding the indicator so target i'm also adding the indicator here also and what we need to i'm applying where in width okay so property i'm using the width okay so i'm using the width and here i'm property using the opacity opacity i'm adding opacity okay i'm adding here the opacity and i'm here from um, zero to uh, to control dot width into 2.5 okay mount the and duration is uh, 200 duration duration in the 200 millisecond okay so similarly here i am doing from 0 0.9 to, to 0 okay to 0 and duration 200 millisecond so this is uh, i designed the parallel animation now what we need to do here i'm adding the on press uh, like i'm pressing the property and what we need to do here so i'm adding the press on like indicator like i'm putting the mouse uh, clicking area so i'm adding the mouse area mouse area dot the mouse area x and indicator dot uh, m by and equal to the mouse area and here i'm putting the mouse uh, dot by and what we need to do here nm dot uh, like uh, we need to put uh, some animation and this is i apply the main dot uh, main dot uh, what we need to run here the restart okay so restart so this is our button we use it here so initially we put it the radius is 4 so let's make it 8 here okay so let's make 8 here so now i am using here the button is uh, which is designing 
so the custom button here and anchor on center and parent okay so i apply add some text uh, text should be anything like success okay so let's run it and see what the result will show that's uh, like showing the success that uh, it will show in the binding loop detected for the property of implicit width and implicit height so let's see what we changes with we made here uh, like we are not providing the implicit width and implicit height so because it taking the implicit width and implicit height and so let's provide some implicit width and I'm making the implicit width height is 60 and implicit width is a like amount of around like 120 okay so let's check if it is work or not so hope this will work yeah this is i made it this look look uh, this is will showing the okay so a little bit animation it will showing here when i click somewhere else and this will uh, create in some animation here so what we need to do here we need to add uh, some font uh, dot style so font dot pixel size i am heading here like a if font style font dot style like h3 and font dot family i'm adding here then font style and i'm adding the font style is uh, like uh, this one content dot font so get content on font dot name and font dot bold uh, font dot uh, bold okay and font dot weight i'm adding font dot uh, weight uh, font dot weight as a bold so let's run and see how it will looks so let's check uh, uh, what we do here yeah that looks good and after that how to change this uh, text field color so let's uh, we make uh, some modification on that so i'm adding the content uh, uh, content item here content, current item so here i'm adding the label i'm adding here the label content height or similarly uh, we can use here uh, some the images sort of uh, image if you want to add so i'm adding the image and i'm just uh, directly and uh, the font dot uh, uh, or just font applying the control dot font so it will like if i'm applying the control dot font it will directly add all the property font related like health house font and all and next thing uh, is I'm adding with the text text dot control dot text control dot text and uh, wrap mode like I'm also wrap this wrap mode like uh, label I'm adding the label dot wrap at any boundary so this is and I'm not uh, like uh, adding this as a center and so let's see, check uh, where it will show and also like i'm adding the font uh, and dot color sorry just color here so i'm adding the white color here like f f f l so the color is white let's see and check uh, if it is looks good or not so let's check yeah but it not uh, in center end so let's make it as a center end so uh, let's make it as a center end anchor dot center end parent okay 
so let's see if it is behave uh, something like that or not which uh, i want so rest of uh, we made all other things as expected let's uh, what happened here okay still not uh, in center okay this is still not center so what we need to apply here we need to apply some uh, like uh, uh, implicit width and height so here also i am applying implicit width implicit height control dot uh, control dot implicit uh, height okay and implicit width and i am applying control sorry control dot uh, implicit uh, width okay let's run and check here and see look it looks in center or not okay uh, the implicit width and height is a read only property so we cannot uh, do this and what we add here like i am adding here that this is not and anchor dot uh, uh, vertical center parent dot uh, vertical center okay and anchor dot uh, horizontal center parent dot horizontal center okay so let's see if it is working or not still not working it will be showing here like top of this uh, so what we need to do here maybe we need to apply some uh, column layout here like column layout and in column layout we need to change here applying so i'm adding the width here parent dot width okay and anchor dot uh, horizontal center parent dot horizontal center okay so here i am applying layout dot alignment qt dot align horizontal center and qt dot align vertical center okay so this is i apply here and i also apply here right parent dot height okay so i apply here this let's check uh, if it looks good or not and one more thing uh, we can provide here the opacity uh, like control dot enable and or not and the second thing we can provide here the image okay now it looks good look this and uh, the second thing we can provide here the similarly uh, we can provide the image here like if you want to like using the icon and so we can also provide here like a source uh, source size first we provide the source size is a qt dot uh, size and in qt size how do we provide the control dot width and height control dot implicit height sorry implicit width and control dot uh, implicit height so we provide the control dot height and what we do here the uh, source is the source we also provide here we made one property call it set icon okay so i'm making a property the type is string and here i'm um, uh, name is the set icon property okay so icon is capital okay so i'm adding this set icon the property here and the visibility of this okay visibility and depend on this like i'm adding this uh, text level text level so text level dot text dot text okay so text level not equal to because uh, we only will see the one time only the one okay so uh, initially we need to add some implicit width and height so implicit width height uh, we add here uh, like uh, uh, 46 okay that's quite 
and implicit height i i also add here implicit height let's add implicit height also the 46 okay so let's see uh what it will like showing let's i'm adding here the column layout okay in column layout we use different different like success false and normal okay so let's uh, add a more button here i'm adding a width as a parent dot width okay parent dot width and the spacing is 50 okay i think that's quite enough and i'm here adding the row layout and inside the row layout i add uh, like similar same things uh, like column layout i also add i want to add here and put this on center and okay on the parent so let's see uh, how it will behave like i'm adding here the color success and the background color we need to change here this one so i'm adding the background color is uh, different let's remove this both okay so here i'm like meeting the background color taking from the here like primary okay so i'm taking this whole as a you see this and color i'm adding here so let's add the primary and let's add uh, more and more so i added here the primary and uh, secondary this one so let's add the secondary here okay and uh, we need to add the color is here the secondary color so i'm adding here the background color background color and this one is the secondary and now added success also added the danger color i am adding here so this is the danger color let's change the danger color okay now i am also putting this uh, to here okay so i added the danger color now i am add, adding the warning color here so let's add the warning color changing the warning color and now what we need to info color so i am adding here the info color and let's change the info color and let's again add one more copy i am adding here so which one is uh, like uh, this one light uh, okay so i am adding the light here and this one the light color and let's add into the dark color so let's add the dark color here so i'm adding the dark color let's see uh, what happening and let's see how it will look like hope this will work fine let's see yeah this will not looks good where the this text gone and this will not showing and i am putting this center end but still it uh, showing in differently is there any issue with that uh, it will showing that something like this Add two, add one. Let's see. It's still showing good or not. I still not looks good. So I think the image create the problem here. Oh ho ho ho. 
this do not look good help me why it's not looks where i made the mistake creating this single button that's uh, will work fine but uh, i'm creating on that that it will not work okay. not showing only text not showing but why not showing a text the problem is uh, like this one set icon set icon i already made it then so why not Yes, so I don't know what happening here. We made the changes here the inside the custom node um, here this uh, related to Z related maybe but not made it anything uh, mistake here I am but still not showing the text here why not showing this text field anything makes a mistake here i'm putting the label record of this sorry 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 putting the label we cannot put the uh, like uh, id from the content layout inside the content layout we cannot put the id that's why it's not showing so let's uh, change and uh, uncomment this section and see what if it looks good or not because the problem we are facing due to we put the id or the label inside the content layout so let's see the result yeah that's good it's look good danger uh, we need to implement some sort of item with from here or we just remove this extra okay so i'm just removing this extra color property from there if you have a the text field is large then you need to like uh, add implicit with a uh, uh, more so i added this just remove it this and let's see how to look i also uh, like uh, we can remove this line this will also work but what we need to do here we need to use this uh, set icon visibility of this like visible set icon uh, not equal to okay and we remove this okay so this will look uh, good here we created this so let it uh, be done so that's all in this lecture